Hello, super lovely kids. I welcome you all once again to the Victory Land virtual class. My name once again is Auntie Gifty, and I'm taking you through the English language today. Now, in English language today, we're going to study about reading and comprehension. We all know about reading, and we've been reading a lot of books. Today, we're going to go about how to read fluently and to make reading also very interesting. So we are hoping that by the end of the lesson today, you, the peoples, will be able to, one, read fluently, answer comprehension questions two, know the meanings of some vocabularies, and four, use the vocabularies to form sentences on their own. I go over again that after the lesson, the peoples will be able to one, read fluently, two, answer comprehension questions, three, know the meanings of some vocabularies, and then four, use the vocabularies to form sentences on their own. So these are our expectations for today's lesson. I hope you are all ready. Good, now let's move on. Today, the title of the story we're going to study is The Reward for Kindness. Repeat this after me. The Reward for Kindness. Good. Now, I believe you've heard of reward and you have also heard of kindness. One may ask what a reward is. A reward is anything in a form of a gift, applause, handshake, appraisal, and others given to someone for doing something good. I go over again. A reward is anything in the form of a gift, handshake, appraisal, and others, giving to someone for doing something good. Now, kindness. What at all does kindness mean? Kindness means showing care for something or someone. Kindness means showing care for something or someone. So now I believe you know and understand these two key words, reward and kindness. So that is our title for our story today, the reward for kindness. Now let's see what the story is about. Read the story below. Aku was a kind-hearted girl, and one day, when crossing a bridge, she saw two boys on the stream trying to drown a dog. I take the sentence again. Aku was a kind-hearted girl, and one day, when crossing a bridge, she saw two boys on the stream trying to drown a dog. So she ran to the shore and crying loudly, How? Oh, how can you be so cruel to that poor dog? The boys looked at her in wonder and one of them said, Father told us to drown it. I take this part of the passage again. So she ran to the shore and crying loudly, Oh, how can you be so cruel to that poor dog? The boys looked at her in wonder and one of them said, Father told us to drown it. The dog had reached the bank, crept towards Aku. The dog had reached the bank, crept towards Aku. Poor little fellow, she said. 
patting her hand. Will you give him to me? Yes, said the boys. You may have him and welcome. I could thank the boys and run home. I take this part again. Poor little fellow, she said, patting her head. Will you give him to me? Yes, said the boys. You may have him and welcome. I could thank the boys and run home. Oh, Mama, she cried. Look at this dear little dog. Two boys were trying to drown him, and I asked them to give him to me. May I keep him, Mama? My dear child, said Mrs. Mason. I am very glad to hear that you saved the lie, the little dog from pain. Oh, mama, she cried. Look at this dear little dog. Two boys were trying to drown him and I asked them to give him to me. May I keep him, mama? My dear child said Mrs. Mason. I am very glad to hear that you saved the little dog from pain. Now I hope you I, I believe you have learned and understand the lesson. The story simply tells about a little girl who showed kindness for a little dog. The dog was going to be drowned by two boys who were instructed by their father to do so. Out of kind-heartedness, Aku pleaded for the dog to be given to her. Because of her kind-heartedness, her reward was that the dog was given to her as a gift because she was ready to save its little life. So you see, anytime you show kind-heartedness and also you show, you show caring, you get a reward out of it. So I believe that you've learned the lesson that from henceforth, you are always going to be kind-hearted and you are going to always show care for others not only humans but for other things as well good now we are done with our story and we have some words being colored in red we are going to look out for the meanings of these words and use them to form sentences good now these are the vocabularies Kind-hearted one, two, drown, three, sure, four, cruel, five, wonder, six, crept, seven, glad, eight, pattern. I go over the vocabularies again. You can say them after me. One, Kind-hearted. Two, drown. Three, sure. Four, cruel. Five, wonder. Six, crept. Seven, glad. Eight, pattern. Now let's look at the meanings of these vocabularies. The first of them is kind-hearted. Kind-hearted means someone who likes other people a lot and wants to help them. Kind-hearted means someone who likes other people a lot and wants to help them. For example, a kind-hearted doctor saved her life. A kind-hearted doctor 
saved her life. So I believe now you understand what kind-hearted means. Let's move on. We have drown. Drown. Drown means to kill a person or animal by pushing them underwater. Drown means to keep a person, to kill a person or animal by pushing them underwater. Example, the ghost of the boy who drowned in the water is around. The ghost of the boy who drowned in the water is around. So now you understand what drown is. Good. The next one is shore. Shore. Shore is the land along the edge of a sea, lake, or other large body of water. Shore is the land along the edge of a, a sea, lake, or other large body of water. Example. I saw some seashells at the seashore. I saw some seashells at the seashore. The next we have cruel. Cruel. Cruel means knowingly or out of will, causing pain to others or enjoying the pain of others. Cruel means knowingly and out of will, causing pain to others or enjoying the pain of others. This means that someone doing something wrong intentionally. Someone doing something wrong intentionally to cause pain to another person. Now let's look at, at an example of it. The king is a cruel ruler. The king is a cruel ruler. Good. The next is wonder. Wonder. Wonder means a feeling of surprise caused by something nice. Wonder means a feeling of surprise caused by something nice. So it's about you feeling surprised about something which is nice or lose good. Let's look at this example. A six-year-old baby talked in a wonder state. A six-year-old baby talked in a wonder state. Good. The next we have is crept. Crept. Crept means someone or something moving slowly and closely along the ground. Crept means someone or something moving slowly and closely along the ground. Example, Kweku crept slowly from one room to another. Kweku crept slowly from one room to another. So now I believe you understand the word crept. The next we have is glad. Glad. Glad means having a feeling of joy or happiness. Glad means having a feeling of joy or happiness. Example, I am glad to see you once again. I am glad to see you once again. Good. We carry on to pattern. We carry on to pattern. Pattern means to touch quickly and gently with something flat. Pattern means to touch quickly and gently with something flat. Example. She was patting his head while passing by. She was patting his head while passing by. 
So I believe now you've gotten to understand the vocabularies in here and now you can use them to form sentences on your own and also use them in your daily English speech. I believe you've learned a great lesson today and I believe now you believe that if you show kindness, you get a reward. Now this is our exercise for this lesson. Answer the following questions. One, what did Aku see when she was crossing the bridge? What did Aku see when she was crossing the bridge? Two, why did the boys wanted to drown the dog in the stream? Two, why did the boys wanted to drown the dog in the stream? Three, did the boys give the dog to Aku? Did the boys give the dog to Aku? Four, what did Aku's mother say when she heard the story? What did Aku's mother say when she heard the story? And then five, how many of you have dogs in your home? How many of you have dogs in your home? So kindly answer these five questions using the passage and bring them for marking. Stay safe and stay blessed. Hope to see you again on another lesson. Bye.